You guys are stupid, are you crazy? Are you dumb? Which one? You could pick one. Hello! You might think, Ray, you look a little overdressed. Don't worry, I'm in my PJs. That's what Zoom University taught me, you know? Look good from the top, doesn't matter what's in the bottom. You're welcome. So, I posted a video about why it's okay to not have any ambition. Um, go check it out. It was kind of cool. It was actually really cool. And basically, at the end of the video, I mentioned a personality test that is called 16 personalities that is actually inspired by the Myers-Briggs test, which in psychology is like a legit peer-reviewed thing. I was really surprised at the number of people that had never heard of the test before. So here's my train of thought. It's the 16 personality test. If you've done it, if you have not done it, go do it. It's fun. It's very long. I personally love to do the test. You know, all those BuzzFeed tests that really tell you what kind of mermaid you would be, because that's really important. In the same era, in the same district of the 16 personalities, I've decided I wanted to show you all about the alignment test. This test originated from Dungeons and Dragons, which is a super cool game, but for those of you that are not nerds like me, it's okay, I'll do my best to explain what it is. Basically, D&D &D is all about storytelling. I know there are a lot of board games, some people have even made like their own board. So cool. Basically, you get to play a character or characters, depending how really into it you are, and you have different capacities. It's basically like werewolf in the sense that everyone has a character, and there's one storyteller. You have to play with dices. It's all about the board, so you're gonna encounter foes, enemies, you're gonna have to fight, you're gonna have to think, but basically it all comes down to dices, and basically depending on your character's abilities, you get different types of dices, or bonuses, or the opposite of bonuses, maluses, badnesses, you get, you know, less points or less numbers. If you watch my Play-Doh game, they actually have a bootleg version of the DND, so if it's something uh, you want to try, I talk about it in my Games to Play video. So I know it's not for everyone, so hear me out. Basically, you have three main categories lawful, chaotic, or neutral. And then we have good, neutral, or evil. Just like the 16 personality test, it is not defining you by any means. I just think it's a really fun test to do. And I wanted to take you along because last time I did it, I was chaotic good. And I'm really proud of that. I brag about everyone that I meet that I'm chaotic good because that's the one I wanted to be. The test consists of 36 multiple choice and you have to answer um, the most accurate possible. Okay, family elders are expressing disapproval of you to the rest of the family. Do you, oh. Silence them any way you can. <laughs> I will not change my ways. I will not compromise. And I will not silence them. You know, besmirch the reputation of those expressing disapproval as you ignore their scorn. Yes. Would you give up a promising career to aid the family in time of need? Okay, if it's my immediate family, then yes in a heartbeat. Third, would you betray a family member to advance your own career? I'd be like, I'd resist the temptation. No, I don't think I could. I would feel so bad. I would enjoy the new career, but I would feel too bad. Do you respect the leaders of your family? I, I hope no one of my family watches this video. It's not completely their fault. I'm also not the one sharing much about my life. So don't take this the wrong way. Five, if your family had arranged your marriage to someone loathsome, would you go through with it? No, I would flee. Uh-uh, nuh-uh, I'm not, <laughs> no. This is, I'm not a child bride, okay, thankfully. Six, you're estranged from a family member. On his deathbed, he seeks reconciliation. Do you speak to him but hold your ground? Um, okay, as a Virgo son, this is way too vague the question like did i have a good reason to hate the dude i guess discuss your estrangement openly and without linker because i'm not trying to pick up a fight he's the one seeking reconciliation so if i went that's already my part of being like i'm the bigger person right seven a powerful but corrupt judge offers you wealth if you'll testify against your friend 
no, both refuse the offer and refuse to testify. Oh wait, take the money and testify, but try to keep your testimony ineffective. Anything for money, because then I could take my friend out, you know, for guns and stuff. Smart. Eight, do you become close friends, close to friends, or hold most people at a safe distance? I have a few close friends. This is going to be the super sentimental moment of the video, but most of the people that you see commenting are <laughs> close friends. <laughs> Not everyone, but I really appreciate you watching my videos. You know who you are. Thank you. Question nine, have you ever betrayed a friend? I don't think so. Oh, that's not what the question is. Okay. I've never contemplated such a thing. Yeah, I don't think I don't think you can call them a friend if you don't have their best intention at heart. Yes, there are compromises and like boundaries to have, but if it's a friendship, it should only be good. Not just like good vibes, but good intentions. So no. Number 10. How do you view lifelong commitment to a single romantic partner? I'm torn between I worry I'd miss out on what others have to offer or tell yourself, okay, I'm gonna do. So a fun fact about me, if you know me, it's probably the first thing I tell people. So why not tell it to strangers on the internet? For my life and my desires, I am against marriage and I do not want children of my own. That gives you an idea of the type of person I am. I don't know. 11. Do you insist on repayment when lending money to friends? I'm gonna say yes. I try to be flexible about the exact terms because I don't mind lending money when I'm in a position to do so. Of course, when I say lending money, I mean like not like a down payment on a house, just regular normal people money, you know? 12. Are you still in touch with childhood friends? Um, no, I move around too much. 13. Do you donate time and money to improve the local community? I'm gonna say no, I don't have enough time or money. It's because I'm lending so much money to my friends. 14. Your community is threatened with invasion. Do you help defend to your last breath? Okay, I feel like help defend it to your last breath and defend the area with the rest of your community are very similar. I'm gonna say defend the area with the rest of your community. Because if no one else is fighting, you've seen my arms, I'm not going to fight alone. <laughs> if you were injured and required immediate assistance, would members of your hometown agree to help? Yes, right? Because I'm generally well liked in my hometown. That's what I would like to think. 16. You respect the laws and authorities of the community when it suits me. There are some laws I just don't agree with. Do members of your hometown shun, avoid, or mock you? Some do because I don't always fit in. And you'll never fit in. That's not a goal of mine, so. Let their haters hate. Would you stand for office? No. <laughs> or seek to represent the interests of the community in some public manner? I'm gonna say only if no one else could end all the job. If I'm in class or when I used to be at like, high school, whenever the prof would ask a question and there would be this like huge blank in the conversation, but like awkward blank, I would always have to be the one raising my hand or opening my mic just because I couldn't bear to like wait. Your country is wrecked with famine. Would you? I'm gonna do eat as little as possible yourself and share the rest because hopefully we'd build like alliances with the community, right? Kind of like Hunger Games when like Katniss throws the bread in the rain. I feel like that would work. Yeah. Because like little as possible, you haven't seen me eat. You know what I'm saying? If offered enough money, would you slip the poison into your king's drink? I'm gonna say yes if I thought I could get away with it. 21. A plague is sweeping across your country. Would you... I would undertake a dangerous mission to find a cure. Because first off, hopefully I would horse away from the plague, number one. And then second, I would want to save my family and friends. So I would have to make sure that the job is being done right. And how is the job being done right? That's right. When you do it yourself. Thank you. Thank you. Do you respect the lawful authority? No. Rulers are invariably corrupted by power. Thank you so much for coming to my TED Talk. 23. If you're offered a reasonably lucrative deal, would you spy for hostile foreign power? I'm going to say yes, because the nation's secrets mean little to me. Like, what am I going to spy on? The number of corn that was delivered to the neighbor? No. I don't care. 24. Do you rely on the government to enforce contracts and property rights? 
I am gonna pick, are you kidding me? The government can't even pave roads. <laughs> If in prison, would you injure or kill others to escape? I'm gonna say no, except for minor wounds that would heal easily. Because I don't think I can have murder on my mind. 26. You accept a noble's right to treat badly the serfs who work on his land. No one has any right to treat another badly. Period. Period. Okay, 27. You have accidentally committed a crime. Do you... I'm gonna turn myself in and attempt to make restitution to the victim because that's assuming there's a victim and no apology is gonna make anything better. If guilty, would you confess to a crime? No. <laughs> I'd make the magistrates prove my guilt because I don't wanna do all the work. 29, would you express a revolutionary political opinion if threatened with punishment? Yeah, I'd rather be punished than remain silent. Women's rights were revolutionary not so long ago and I'm glad someone spoke up about that. I think the punishment would be worse knowing that I said something than the punishment of having to live in a society where I haven't spoke my mind and I haven't done my best to make the society a better place. While traveling, you witness an assault. You are ordered to testify which will delay your travel significantly. Remain until- yeah okay sorry I was reading the answers. Remain until the trial's conclusion in case further testimony is needed. I'm assuming I'm the only witness, so anything to help. What is the best use of wealth? It's still gonna be to help the destitute and less fortunate, just because it's more people rather than just friends and family. And hopefully if I have enough wealth for the less fortunate, then I will still have some money left for my friends and family. When confronted by beggars, do you I'm gonna put ignore as you walk by? By using magic, you could fool village merchants into thinking your copper pieces were made of gold. Do you? Yes, but I'll only cheat the rich merchants. I'm like a Robin Hood of the copper. You have two job offers. One pays more, but the other is secure and steady. I'm gonna say probably the lucrative job. I'm not meant to stay in one job long term forever anyway. What's the best path to wealth? It's a matter of luck and being in the right place at the right time. Let's not lie. This is why generational wealth is so like attractive in a way because it's like it, it is a lot easier when Bill Gates is your dad and you don't have to scram while at university with like four different jobs because you can barely pay your part-time classes. Last question! If you accepted a job or contract, would you try to finish the task even if it got much more dangerous? Yeah, because my word is my bond. One thing about me, when you watch this video, the workout pal, the workout pal video would have been posted like two, three weeks ago. You can go check it out right here. I made a promise to myself to work out at least twice a week with my abs. I'm here to tell you, I am still doing that. That sounded like a lie, I promise. When I give my word, when I sign a contract, when I sign something official, to me, that's a promise. So I'm not breaking it no matter what. Okay, what is my alignment? chaotic good, 21 chaotic neutral, and 21 neutral good. I have so many chaotic evil. <laughs> Chaos, yeah, I don't, I don't do things simple. I'm really, really, really happy I got chaotic good again. I'm not gonna lie, I was a little worried. First of all, I hope you're still here. Thank you so much for watching me take a test. Second, go do it right now. I'll link it in the description box. Let me know what you got and if it if the test was fun for you or not at all. What questions surprised you? What community do you want to be a part of? Do you want to play DND with me? Like, hit me up, let me know. I think that's it for me. But for you, remember to empty your email boxes because that pollution is not cute. I hope you're having a wonderful whatever you're having, wherever you are. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye! <laughs> so happy!